Hello, welcome back to the Matrix of Life channel. Uh, and today I am here for you with another pick a card reading. We will have your path to marriage pick a card. Okay, we will have four different cards for four different piles. And each of you will figure out a script kind of which life events are um, gonna take place before you get married to your person. Okay. And let's get started with choosing cards. Trust. Okay, for pile number one, it's gonna be trust. For pile number two, it's gonna be time. For pile number three, harmony card. And pile number four, inspiration. Okay, guys, so please I ask you to choose your card. Let me know in comments which one is yours. Okay, and we will get started for this trust card. Okay, guys, let's see your path to marriage. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. And how you will meet your future husband. Maybe even cards will tell us a little bit about your future husband. We will see this everything. Because I'm usually channeling messages through cards. I am not traditional tarot reader who is doing everything on instruction. So, oh, when I channel some kind of energy. I'm just telling what I see in no sugar coating, okay? Okay, guys, trust, trust. We have, okay, Knight of Wands, power, let's say, power card, Knight of uh, Swords. Eight of Cups. Hmm. Ten of Cups. Hmm. Yeah. And another five cards. Eight of Pentacles. Oh. Knight of Swords. Sorry, before we had Page of Swords. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Empress, wow, <laughs> Empress and Ten of Pentacles. Oh my god, what's going on here for this pile? Guys, who watching this uh, pile, I'm getting a lot of you already now in relationship. Unlikely that someone lonely and who in active search watching this. I'm getting vibes, strong vibe. A lot of you already in relationship. And in this relationship, very passionate relationship, but not mature, your partner not taking any responsibility for you. He's just coming and going, you know, kind of energy. A bit of energy of gaslighting, of course. And with this card, she's trying to Oh, for a lion, she's trying to, to, to do something, you know, what? useless, okay, being honest with you. Um, and that we have here a page of cups, which I know not by, by chance, but not by chance, let's say, a mistaken for um, Knight of Swords. And here's page of swords. It's clear message that your partner with whom you date and right now not going to become a mature man. You know, like, um, it's not gonna happen, okay? Um, this kind of man, you know, with whom you um, may date and, um, you know, have some passionate romantic relationship, you will hear a lot of blah 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 and this zazazu feeling with a lot of butterflies in your stomach, but in fact it's kind of person um, which will promise you the moon and the stars and the world, but um, 
years passing by and for example he is still living with his parents okay he's still living with his parents and it sucks okay uh, and of course he's not gonna separate and build something with you something bright and everlasting not gonna happen not gonna happen okay so please stop doing this stop fight for your relationship and um, in all, all, all the time motivate your man to to do something to take responsibility to to grow up or, or something it's not gonna happen it's not and when you understood this you you will be walking away from him you will be walking away walking away in order to uh, create this happy family in order to get two more cups which are missing now with this person you miss these two more cups okay guys you're not getting what you what you deserve what you want with this person you're dating right now and in order to get this a uh, happy family a marriage because a lot of you here for marriage reading okay um, you need to walk away from this relationship you need to walk away and so far you know our partners they are mirroring something in uh, in a way they mirroring so if you got irresponsible one um, that only means that in some area of your life some particular area of your life you are not getting are you not taking responsibility as well it might be job it might be relationship with your parents or your sister brother whatever friend you're not taking responsibility so you get in but on, on lesser scale okay and so you get in a huge responsible non-adult uh, person who call himself a man but in fact just a page of sorts who's blah 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 romantically uh, I'm even getting that uh, more of most of your in communication going through online um, and when he wanna meet uh, this he wanna meet for sex and that's it uh, so guys and this clear message uh, eight of pentacles walk away eight of cups eight of pentacles walk away and work on yourself on your qualities okay and on qualities you uh wanna see in your future partner and i feel that a lot of you conscious here and you are going to do this you're going to walk away and work on yourself improve yourself I do a lot of spiritual growing um, to finally attract a responsible partner okay and here we have a new one coming which will kind of suit your expectations more of, of what a relationship should be um, and again he might come through internet communication again you, you're gonna meet your future husband through internet but you will be already in this state of mind after working hard on your pentacles eight of pentacles and nine of pentacles we have here when you might say um i don't need um i don't need you or i need no one i am happy by myself uh, i'm already self-sufficient uh, i don't need a relationship right now you might be in this state of mind when you will be rejecting and turn turning back and turning off any romantic gestures of first and everything and this is the time when your partner is a real one gonna come towards you okay and again in this relationship you you're gonna grow up from this nine of pentacles to empress to the empress and empress you know she have everything balanced her cups energy her swords energy her pentacles energy her wands energy she have everything on the place and everything balanced it's not only about career and success and and being independent okay so guys uh, this relationship which are gonna come after 
uh, after the situation in which you are now, they will help you to, to grow to this beautiful empress. And finally, I, I see this a marriage, marriage card. Uh, for some of you, it might be um, uh, marriage into which you will uh, rush, um, pushed not by your feelings or passion, uh, by your, but by your logic, but by your mind. It's not bad. Um, some people might perceive this as a bad thing, but. It's bad scene only for these people who uh, live and behave like this. Uh, but n n not for this person to, to whom you gonna level up. Not for Empress. Because it, it's gonna be a really successful, prosperous union. Um, and I'm getting message, seven message here, when your future husband gonna meet you and start a relationship with you, um, uh, how he will understand that you uh, you are his woman for sure. He will start earning more. And it's common scene with men when um, when a man meeting his, uh, his soulmate through one not energetic vampire woman, uh, he's starting to earn more because real woman, real woman, she behave not like this workaholic uh, um, and this everything trying to do. I will do everything by myself. Uh, I will earn for us and for our wedding. No. A real woman behaves like this, like Empress. She inspires her man for a financial success. Uh, and I feel like those of you who are watching this reading and um, you need to hear a story, for example, in relationship. And it will be in my future book uh, because it's gonna be novel, novel training, okay? Uh, it's not gonna be just simple novel which you read and you don't know what to do next with it, with all this information you have read. It's not just entertain entertaining story. It's simple with step by step you read, you understood real mechanisms and real karma behind each situation. Okay, uh, what I want to share with you. For example, man telling you, baby, I am so worried about you. Are you financially um, not uh, mature, not grown up yet? You should chase after um, financially a more rewarding job or career. You should stop doing what you do because you like uh, to do this. You, you should start chasing money think about our careers think about our future kids and what what's gonna happen and i am doing this is like best for you because if i if something happened to me it's not like i don't want to care about our family no uh if something happened to me and uh what you and our future kids gonna do in this situation ship that you this and that Okay, uh, and a lot of a lot of you after it will be this shit uh, will be covered in this beautiful beautiful way with these creepsies and chocolates and everything. After on the plate he will bring you shit uh, and tell you this and this uh, like from his bottom of his heart so much sincere. Um, what you gonna do? Uh, a lot of you who are empaths, you gonna really to sacrifice your passion, sacrifice your in in order to get your man's validation and in order to uh, kind of take care of future kids because future kids is kind of magical word for and any woman and they using this uh, to manipulate you. Mm, so what we have, you will start. 
chasing or another job or, or sign up for two jobs to become more financially successful please don't do this uh, for this case there is very nice reply darling if you so much worrying about our future kids and me why not you taking care of this i believe you can you my man you can buy property more property for us so we can give it in rent please think about you and this way you referring like in tennis you referring responsibility back to your man because really it's his job not yours so for part number one uh, i think it was very important message need to be heard okay a few more from romance angels few more cards for you guys ah uh, your past to future marriage here is complicated but interesting okay i'm gonna pull three cards and we will see your past to future marriage we have calling in your soulmate, yes, because uh, whatever, whomever you're dating right now, not your true soulmate, guys. Okay, reconciliation. Well, reconciliation. Uh, someone from your past might be returning, maybe this asshole whom you're gonna left behind uh, right now. Uh, but most important lesson about this reconciliation, because not all people deserve second chances, let go of control issues. It's really not a good idea to, to get him back. Um, and finally, finally wedding. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but uh, someone from your past uh, before your uh, before you meet your real soulmate uh, gonna come back uh, to you you might even fall and reconcile with this person and you will work final lesson with this control issues with him because uh, this asshole not trustworthy so <laughs> the, the major lesson there will be control issues and after this you got you're gonna meet your man your kind of man i'm not getting here vibes that reconciliation will be uh, for for good and for happily ever after no reconciliation will be for this lesson okay maybe you now in this kind kind of reconcile rec reconciliation uh, relationship vibe uh, which are on and off constantly you know you you together you apart on and off constantly so you might be now in this type of relationship um, after this control issues um, learned and it might be not only in relationship related this control issues to, to money relatives even not not to your partner okay uh, just uh, as i'm telling searching on, on lesser scale on small scale okay not as chaotic as your partner mirroring you uh so yeah you're gonna you're gonna find uh no one and it's gonna end up with beautiful wedding but after only after this lesson uh will be learned of control issues guys okay and again, allow the situation to unfold naturally. And here we have what I told you, not naturally. You're trying to force your date into something uh, he doesn't want to sign up for, okay? And you're trying to force him. and It's unnatural. And when you stop pushing, you will see that this person you're in, right? You are in relationship ways right now. Um, kind of... Don't give a shit about you, your feelings, your uh, your life. Uh, he's just um, in a relationship with you. He's just satisfying his needs. Um, when you allow the situation unfold naturally, you will see this. Your eyes will be wide open and you will walk away. Okay. From this to meet your true true soulmate guys so uh, please let me know in comments how does your reading resonate with you i will be glad and happy to read from you guys and we are moving now to next card okay guys okay guys card time card time 
let's take a look your pass your journey to marriage your journey to marriage card we will see energies for you what's gonna happen i'm gonna pull 10 different tarot cards for you and we will read a script as I told, I'm not typical tarot readers, or mostly I communicate with cards through symbols and channel in different messages from uh, universal information field, okay? It's not like I'm gonna, I learned tarot by book and gonna read it by book, no, never. Okay. Tower. Four of Cups, Hermit, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Again, we have this power. Cards, uh, Sun, wow, 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 nice. Seven of Cups. Eight of Swords, Two of Swords, guys, okay, bit complicated here, a lot, because a lot of messages for you, a lot to pay attention on, a lot, okay guys, I will start with these three cards, Tower, Four of Cups and Hermit. Okay, Tower. Uh, now you're at the point where you, where life put you in situation to work on your ego, to work on your ego, on your egoism, on your everything. Because um, there is this chance of love for you, relationship for you, which you keep rejecting because. That's not good enough for you, I'm hearing. N not good enough. No one good enough for me. And just because you have serious ego problem. Um, and again, this period of self-isolation, uh, of this hermit mode, um, it could serve bad or good. It, it could serve you bad or good, okay? Because here I am getting uh, a lot of pressure from your family. A lot of pressure. Your family want to see you uh, married. And you kind of self-isolated yourself. Even stop communicating. Uh, even stop communicating with them. But whoever is coming to you with his offer. You see this page of pentacles. I am hearing constant message that... He is not good enough. He is not good enough. And really, you have a lot of, lot of different uh, options, guys. A lot of crazy, a lot of admirers you have. But you keep rejecting them Oh, And uh, again, you, you just, even some of you might not see them at all. You not seen because they are not good enough to you. They are not good enough to whatever um, happy image you creating within your head per of perfect man. Okay. Because you want to see your your person abundant, prosperous, famous like a son, famous. Maybe you after you secretly in love with some guy at power. I'm getting some of you, yeah. You know this kind of uh, love him, but um, you not good enough for him. And uh, all your admirers not good enough for you. Uh, and that's why we are getting this mold, okay? She is still uh, blinded 
but at this picture she is finally free she is not tied up she is not surrounded by so a clear message for you that it's up to you uh, and this person um, whom you think that uh, you're not good enough for him uh, it's in your hands to become good enough but again without our strange and yourself is a strange card okay uh, card of power i prefer to call it okay uh, so guys and for some of you again we have here two different sorts two different scripts for some of you clear message that instead of chasing this uh, man uh, whom you secretly in love with who matches all this your expectations of being famous and powerful okay and rich prosperous and everything um so for some of you chase him okay you you know how to become good enough to him some of you maybe uh, you can give chance to some to your admirers so uh, he will be growing uh, next to you from this page of um, pentacles and go all the way along with you to the emperor because here I'm getting a strong message that yeah yeah you can grow an emperor you want from your man you can help him inspiring him and this everything guys so please this very specific pile let me know in comments how does it resonate with you okay because this one pile is so specific so specific okay let me pull a few more messages for you so we will see we will see things okay codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life yeah you addicted to to some man who has power and everything you totally that's for sure that's why you notice not noticing anyone else and we have here separation yeah of course you you're not with this man of your dreams you're just watching him from far maybe through internet and here retreat and again uh, this retreat card to me about this card please spend some time alone wisely wisely so this time alone will serve you and bring you understanding of what exactly you want okay and will bring you maybe understanding and clear picture of your admirers who deserves this little chance with you okay guys so that's your path to marriage retreat and think about things maybe uh spend some time alone with uh, your admire one of your admire okay G give him chance one of your admirers uh, okay guys i hope you like your reading if you do you can subscribe for more just hit and subscribe button and i will be glad to see you again my readings i have a lot of love readings doing wedding readings and everything okay and now we move into this beautiful and wonderful harmony card i love it so much <coughs> And we will see for you, we will get a prediction for you, the path to your marriage, what kind of emotions you're gonna, gonna went through before you get married, okay? We will see this all. Or maybe what kind of events in your life gonna happen. Okay, let's see. The sun, uh -huh. Five of Wands, uh, Emperor, Seven of Pentacles, oh my god, okay, King of Cups, Queen of Wands, definitely you, my dear viewer, 
uh, high priestess and this more of what should you become okay seven of swords oh my god the seven of cups a lot of sevens here we have almost all sevens seven of pentacles cups so. fool oh my god oh my god guys Whew. very specific message for you as well i don't know today are all piles are so specific and each one has uh, own details okay now you're at this stage i will start with this <laughs> with this mm, cards with these three cards you're at the stage where you are uh, kind of in a mood to shine to attract attention and you're fighting for the attention of your emperor you're fighting with other women you're fighting so hard as this queen of wands so passionate uh, so i'm getting here strong shift of roles when instead of men chasing you you the one who chasing a man you chasing your emperor or maybe fighting for him with other women fighting to attract his attention and namely namely you are thinking that this strategy gonna bring you success that your man will understand how much you love him and reciprocate your feelings giving you this beautiful wonderful cup of love guys no clear message stop doing what you're doing stop doing what you're doing stop fighting for him just leave become this mysterious it's 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 clear message become this mysterious high priestess shift your energies instead of calling him and asking when we will go on date um go on silent mode and let him wonder what are you doing with whom are you doing whatever you're doing okay let him wonder and spy on you shift your freaking energies okay so he will see that you have as him as well have a, a lot lot of options that your life So, your life not centered around around this man. You have your own things to do about which he just doesn't know. And then the fun is gonna begin and something new, okay? You will unlock new stage of life and totally new type of relationship of being chased by man, okay? guys so that he will even even be spying on you after you shift your energies from from this constantly fighting for his attention and for him to this mysterious high priestess and then he will start wondering what's going on in your life are you got someone else and then he, he gonna start acting and uh it's gonna be just big surprise uh, at this point, I can say you mm, are you gonna end up together with this guy or someone new gonna come towards you unexpectedly out of the blue after you shift your energies into this, okay? Uh, I would recommend you, those of you who now in a relationship with whom this pile totally resonates, to watch a video. Uh, are we gonna end up together? It might benefit you. Um, something new something surprising a new stage of life uh gonna happen to you before you get married okay you will unlock new totally new stage on, of of life either it's with new profession in new town in new country um 
when you will be entering into this totally new stage of life, new stage of mind, it will be clear signal to you that your soulmate is near, that marriage is on horizon, okay? So that's your path to marriage. Let me pull a few more cards. Let me pull a few more cards. I love this storytelling. Okay. else religious factors yeah you might be fighting a lot for your love so mate give your relationship a chance well remember I, I told you that I can't say I'm gonna end up together most likely you will 17% a chance um, but um, after you change your behavior because now you you fighting for your man too hard I don't know why you fighting for him so hard and chasing him maybe because of this relationship factors you know in some families is it just uh, want um, daughter-in-law to be a uh, same religion as their beloved son and that might you know kind of cause a lot of problems um, uh, this multicultural relationship but after you change and shift in your energy yeah, you you might give your relationship a chance maybe you feel and this person is your soulmate with whom you know um, then uh, totally you know totally you will start with a new page 70% uh, of you gonna start with new a page or with this old uh, person for whom you fighting uh, now and this person you you're gonna marry uh, get married with uh, in future okay and 30% of you is gonna it's gonna be someone really new uh, whom you might reject because it, it will be totally new experience for you uh, because of religious these religious factors you might not even want a relationship with him and uh, this clear message give, give this relationship a chance because it might be um, a person from different cultural background and you might have judgment on, on this person kind of uh, I don't need this, I'm not subscribing for this, they have this and the traditions, it, it's not my uh, lifestyle, it's not my everything, but uh, for a lot of you I see a lot of multicultural unions, multi-religious, um, but again, uh, this is gonna happen only after you grow up to this uh, energy of high priestess, instead of behaving as this queen of ones, okay? So guys, I hope it, it helped you, uh, it brought some clarity on, on your path to marriage and you was able to detect at which stage uh, of your journey you are right now. If you like the reading, hit subscribe button, okay? Uh, and I will be glad to see you in my next readings, guys. And now, last not least, inspiration card. We will see your path to marriage your journey to marriage what's gonna happen to you on your way to marriage what's gonna happen to you we will see just 10 cards will tell us your story uh, today i'm getting very specific messages for all my stove piles and i'm so impatient to see what, what's in case with your pile Okay, guys we have here three of cups oh, oh. four of swords <laughs> it's like party <laughs> and after and <laughs> goer okay oh my god <laughs> okay. oh wow this beautiful world card six of pentacles Devil, ho oh, oh. Someone loves partying. 
Okay, Knight of Cups. Five of Cups, lots of spilled drinks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Knight of Swords. Ace of Wands. Queen of Pentacles, guys. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, your story is crazy one, guys. It's a crazy one, guys. Okay. Simply now, um, you're not ready. Simply now, you. I don't know why you even asking and open this kind of reading about marriage, your past to marriage. Well, it's only past to marriage. Not if you're gonna get married soon. But for you, for you, for you. Guys, you all about party now. You all about traveling now. Unfortunately, due to quarantine, we, we're not able, but... Um, you all about partying and this everything and it's not available you all about your uh, work career and guys this is devil 15 energy I, i'm getting strong vibe you have a lot of 15 maybe planetary mission in your matrix uh, those who choose this you i will be blunt okay you just judge people by their looks okay you're judging, you're judging people by their looks, okay? Uh, by their looks, by their success, uh, position in society. Um, and you addicted to these material things. And the same way you trying to... With these old patterns, you're searching for your person or, or maybe even dating someone. But please, with such attitude, don't be surprised that most of men whom you dating or dated in the past just used you and leave. Because they are reflecting to you your attitude to life, which all about partying, um, traveling and, and success in, in society by any cost, okay? by any cost and and he's like he behaves here superior kind of look i'm successful and i am giving you some coins yours kind of useless and this everything uh, same attitude okay you're showing to the world okay you're showing to the world I i'm sorry to say it but someone must say you okay about your shady uh shady sides Okay, I'm seeing again, I'm seeing here a lot of men coming towards you, this Knight of Cups, and they make you suffer. <sighs> because they come, then this break up, and they leave and cut the relationship. And then it, it's karmic, strong karmic cycle I'm getting here. Strong, which repeats again, over and over again, okay? Man comes, you... Um, seeing him this beautiful man of your dream but he appeared to be after this disappointment and spilled love lo love uh, just finished uh, disappeared and you you get in this asshole a knight of swords and this cycle constantly repeating over and over again and again she hold she's holding pentacle and it's clearly cycle and with this devil card about it's clearly cycle this karmic and healthy cycle which you need to break which you need to break okay guys who recognized yourself in this description i would really recommend you to to work on your matrix energies and to work on healing your karma because here it's very difficult situation and after you break this cycle and healthy but don't like to say such things but without help 
without help you won't be able to do this to, to break this cycle uh, you, you need some professional help here to, to break this because here I'm seeing a lot of serious karmic issues a lot of serious karmic issues which which keep going on over and over again because it's not only about traveling and enjoying a communication in internet flirt and everything uh, it's also about serious karmic cycles constantly repeating in your life if you recognize yourself then no you should you should ask for some psychological help because maybe it, it, it caused by trauma, some tra traumatic experience in your past uh, or psychological help or, or karmic um, healer help but again, a karmic healer it's a psychology but from the point of view of karma okay uh, just whatever approach you like work on it work on this karmic cycle which constantly repeating when you mistaken man you know when he makes you suffer and cry and being lonely and disappointed constantly leaving you constantly whatever you do uh, but again i'm telling you he's reflecting something within yourself this this judgment this attachment to material things his behavior so please work on it my, my dear viewers please work on it okay if you start working on it uh, if if you knew knew such background or from your past okay when you start working on it and saw it uh here marriage will be knocking on your doors and this everything beautiful gonna happen uh, but here is really really serious message for for last pile and with this inspiration I am also here and here is strong program again why I said you might cling to material things with this inspiration card I'm getting strong feelings that in your matrix you have this program of beauty talent okay you're talented you very talented person whoever watches this but uh, you kind of prefer to to chase um, word of uh, word of money, uh, thinking that you're not able to earn money uh, enough money with your talent, and you chosen such a wrong way, which leads you into all this karmic situation. Uh, I would recommend you even to watch this reading again from the beginning because so many messages here you won't be able you know to to get them all together from first time looking at it uh, really you you rejecting your talent within yourself and constantly you you keep the cycle of rejection by uh, men whom you fall in love with by men with whom you fall in love is it's repeat because you constantly rejecting your talent and chasing after material world guys that's serious problem for last pile I grab a few more messages some additional messages for you from romance angels but here really i would recommend you to just to check your magic or, or to work with psychologist uh, or start working on your talent because you kind of re keep rejecting your talent and keep chasing material for example um I had a client who was distributor of pepsi and coca-cola uh, while he was very talented uh, singer he was very talented singer and when he started working on on this on his talent when he just gave up his pepsi coca-cola which were bringing him a lot of money and started developing working on his talent uh, then okay he attracted abundance and happiness and all his fears even his health improved uh, because constantly uh message you know for those of you 
not following, not unlocking, not working on your own talents. You put your lungs and breathing system in danger. Because it forced chakra, it's following your heart, following your calling, and you're not doing this. You're blocking this, and it might affect your your physical health when you often get cold. Okay, and when you just start to lock in your talents and your health improving, your love life improving, your everything improving. I really have a message for for this for this pile. So you should break this karmic cycle. How? I told you, work on your talent, okay? Shift focus from material into the best ways of realization of your talent, how it can serve many people and um, and maybe work with psychologist on this past trauma. So I'm getting a lot of kind of a narcissistic relationship vibe when he comes towards you with love bombing. Um, and then he's hosting you and then he's just cutting you, replacing you with a new supply. And you have kind of passion towards such kind of attraction to such kind of men they at attract and you. And you could do nothing with this constantly, constantly trying to learn your karmic lesson. Okay, free yourself, I'm telling you. What I just told you, free yourself. Start following your gift. Free yourself from this uh, material world addictions. Nice. Give your relationship a chance and... Stay optimistic about your love life because after you start doing what your heart wants, you gonna attract normal, normal reciprocating and loving person into your life. I'm more than sure, guys. I'm more than sure. Okay. About give your relationship a, a chance, it might be very different for all of you. For some of you, after you'll start working on yourself and growing up in this way, okay. After you learn your karmic, uh, free yourself from this karmic cycle. Uh, your person uh, with whom you now or was uh, in the past but still feel attracted, maybe as well gonna change. Or maybe you will meet some kind of another type of person who is just um, out of your expectation, doesn't match your expectations, okay? Your... Um, portray of ideal man what you used to with this constant uh, behavior of love bombing at, at the first stage maybe uh, your future husband won't be you know the way as narcissist could be they could be very charming at the beginning but at the end of the day they are total assholes and your husband might not your future husband might not show you that much of love and affection because narcissist could you know more 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 in your ears uh, 15 hours in a row uh, about his oh, love, his kind of love, and baby, I am yours, and this everything bullshit. This new person might not be showing so much of emotion. That's why, because you're used to this karmic script, uh, that's why you might think, okay, he doesn't love me, uh, and or she doesn't love me. Uh, and not giving him a chance, but in fact, okay, give a chance and stay optimistic. Your your love life, even because I'm getting such a desperate vibe here, vibe of desperation. When you so much tired, your soul is so much tired, so much hurt your soul as well. But again, I'm telling you, search for reasons within yourself with help of who gonna show you uh, help you to see your little little mistakes which leading you to such big and bad results okay guys i hope uh, I, i'm not expecting you to like this message but i hope it will be helpful and this information gonna serve you in a best way um 
helping you to reach your destination of this happy happy marriage happy wedding okay guys i hope it will really really help you to unite with your soulmate to recognize your past to work on your past on your energies so if you want to get more spiritual advices then please help me to grow my channel okay and hit subscribe button you can suggest also a topic for reading for next reading in a comment below i will be glad to read from you in any case wish you all the best my dear yours and bye bye